Hello everyone, this is Chef Kantik from Double IH in Bangalore, a live from the Edible Art Kitchen. So I hope you uh, all of you are doing well. So today we are going to learn how to make a basic sweet pastry or rather a sweet short crust pastry. Uh, and with this sweet short crust pastry we can make a lot of things, we can make a tart, we can make a cookie uh, and uh, uh, so on. So to start off, I will uh, be following the creaming method. So I will first show you the ingredients that I will be requiring followed by the method and then uh, the uh, products. So today I will be making a sugar cookie and a jam drop cookie. So to start off I have got 50 grams of sugar, 125 grams of butter and 200 grams of refined flour and one egg and some vanilla essence. This is vanilla essence to kill the raw flavor of eggs. Now to start off, I will take this butter, this butter is very soft, it is a soft butter, so all you need to do is, you need to put this butter outside for some time and, and you can see this butter is quite soft and to this I will be adding the sugar. Now some chefs they add uh, grain sugar, some chefs they also add some uh, powdered sugar or caster sugar, even uh, people do use icing sugar, but I have taken the, granul the granulated sugar. Now after this, I will be creaming this sugar and butter together, as you see like this. So this is the method which is known as a creaming method. So like this, I will cream it till the sugar gets totally <coughs> dissolved in the butter. Now you can see, uh, I was creaming the butter and sugar together. Now it is quite light and fluffy. So at this stage, I need to add the egg. And you can also see the sugar is also dissolved a bit time for adding the eggs make sure that there is no shells of egg that is and we need to continue with our creaming this this butter and sugar mixture should emulsify properly with the egg so that it doesn't curdle and also uh, while we have added the egg uh, we need to ensure that it's mixed thoroughly this egg gives you a crispiness, this egg also adds to the color of the cookie. Now as you can see, it's, be it's becoming a homogeneous mass and the sugar uh, that was not uh, thoroughly dissolved in the butter will now get dissolved in the egg. Now in goes the van vanilla essence which I am using for killing the smell of the egg. I will take a strainer and the pre-measured flour, ideally a uh, soft flour is, is the most uh, suitable or the preferred one for, for making cookies as it, it gives a crispiness to your cookie dough or rather to your cookie. Now this flour 200 grams needs to be sieved. The sieving ensures that there are no impurities in the flour and very gently and gradually it has to be mixed so 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 once this flour is incorporated now i'll be using my hands and i'll be forming a mass but as i said it's not needed I will just accumulate the entire dough, the entire mass of dough and I will do, uh, do the further processes. Now just to, uh, now you can see this dough is formed 
this is a sweet paste or a sweet short crust dough as you can see it's very soft and it, it's, it will be very difficult for me to work with this dough now what I'll do is I'll put this dough for resting so approximately 15 to 30 minutes of resting will make it suitable for me to do the further processes uh, that I have made uh, and it is wasted for approximately 30 minutes now I'll be showing you different shapes of cookies uh, with this so I'll divide the dough and as I said earlier you can also make a tart out of it uh, you, you can also make uh, cookies different types of cookies so uh, so tart I'll be showing you in some other episode so some dusting of icing sugar Uh, it's time that I roll the dough. This rolling has to be very gentle. You need to ensure that uh, while rolling the dough, it's not getting cracks. Now I have my cookie cutters. Going to It's one of the easiest of things that you can do. It's one of the easiest of cookies that you can bake. And some sugar dusted. Now I'll be showing you the jam drop cookie. So for the jam drop cookie, uh, as you can see, I have a, a full round and I, I have a round with a hole. Now what I'll do is, I'll take this. I'll put all the rounds first and I'll apply some moisture on top. Now this moisture could be in the form of milk, this moisture could be also in the form of eggs or rather egg wash. Once this is done, I'll simply put this on top. Give a very very gentle press and this is how I go. Now once this is done, it has to be again, it needs to be tested. The secret to a good pastry of any kind, it could be a short crust, it could be a puff or it could be anything. The secret lies in the fact of resting. The more you rest, better is the result. So just gentle press. Now again, um, this will go for resting of approximately 15 minutes as you can see. Cookies into different shapes and uh, now these cookies will go, in, uh, go inside the oven for baking at a slow, uh, slow temperature uh, at around 160 to 180 degrees centigrade approximately 15 minutes. Uh, so we, uh, we will uh, come back once the cookies are baked. Okay, so now my, my cookies are baked. I'll show you. As you can see, it has got a nice golden brown color, very light color. And uh, the cookies, when you uh, take it out of the oven, uh, it will be a bit more soft, but uh, once it's allowed to rest, once it's allowed to rest, then it will become 
a bit, bit crispy. You can see nice golden brown color. Now I'll I'll let it cool for some time, and after that I'll uh, I'll be garnishing the cookies. So for garnishing, I I'll be using different stuff. So while garnishing or after garnishing, I'll be explaining you the remaining thing. Now uh, my my cookies are baked. Now it's time for garnishing. Now as I said, this is a very basic cookie with which uh, we can we can make a lot of uh, designs, lot of fancy things. But um, I'll be showing you a jam drop cookie and a lemon curd cookie and. One chocolate dip cookie and also a sugar, a sugar cookie. So let's start. We have a nice lemon curd and some mixed fruit jam. So what we will do is we will fill fill it in it. One cup. For the jam drop cookie, I'll take one of these cookies in the center. Fill it up nicely with jam. And for the lemon curd cookie, here we go. So very simple. Now it's time to put these cookies. And for the chocolate one, I have some melted chocolate. So you can do it with your hand only. Take the cookie, just like this. And you lift the cookie. Here we go. And for the sugar cookie, very simple. Some sugar could be sprinkled on top. Here we go. And just to let you know, 9 July every year, it is celebrated as a uh, International Day of Sugar Cookie. So that was a session about uh, cookies. So I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And um, everyone will try all these uh, recipes at home. Till then, this is Chef Prantik signing off from Double IHM Mangalore. Thank you. So, guys, one of these cookies in the center. Fill it up nicely with jam. And. For the lemon curd cookie, here we go. So very simple. Now it's time to put these cookies. And for the chocolate one, I have some melted chocolate. So you can do it with your hand only. Take the cookie, just like this. And you lift the cookie. Here we go. And for the sugar cookie, very simple. Some sugar could be sprinkled on top. Here we go. And just to let you know, 9 July every year, it is celebrated as a uh, International Day of Sugar Cookie. So that was a session about uh, cookies. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And 
um, everyone will try all these uh, recipes at home. Till then, this is Chef Prantik signing off from Double IJ Mangalore. Thank you. Chal, bhai.